Welcome out to the garage tonight. We're working on a 2000 Ford F-150. We had a, a charging problem. We were losing lights and power. Uh, tested the alternator out. Alternator is tested bad, so we're going to pull the alternator quick. Okay, so we got three, three bolts on this top cover just to get the air box off. Or the cover for the air box, I should say. Over here, already loosened up. Okay, get this out of the way. The only reason we have to move that out of the way is so we can get this. Air filter out of the way so you can see on what I'm doing. Most guys wouldn't bother taking this off. It just gives me a lot more room to get down there and the alternator bolts and stuff get out of the way. So one hose clamp here. I might have to pull these off, but we'll get the hose clamp loosened up and see. And we got one clamp here. Should be able to take off. Got our connector, press the tab in, and that's out of the way. Okay, so now we can get down in here. Uh, next thing we want to do before we stick our fingers in there is get our battery disconnected. I do you believe that's an eight millimeter? Yeah, that's the next size smaller. Oh, gotcha. We can just take our negative cable off. That's all we really need to do. Out of the way. All right. Now, got one connector here. That should be a 10 millimeter. Here it is. wire out of your way. Hardest thing is getting these little tabs off. You don't break anything. That one pulls right off this other wire connector. And then we got one more to deal with. Right here. These little picks with a little hook on it really help. You can get your I don't put your good eyeball on it. I realize you gotta get the Alright, so we just gotta pull it on this. Now let's see what we got for a tensioner. Take the tension off the belt here. And looks like the nice thing is four did you put a half inch breaker bar slot in here? My arm's caught. Pull it up towards you. You're going to slack off the belt and slide it off. Guys, if you're smart, you just let it lay there. It's not so hard to get it back and line up later. Okay, so our belt's off, our wires are off. We should have, I'm guessing, two bolts. One here. Uh, they might have one in the back. But one there and one down there. So like two tens probably. Need a longer ratchet. It's right here. Let's see if I guess right. Look at that.
light down here. Okay. There's that one. These four did a good job and put it right on top so we can get to it. Unlike the Volkswagen we did. Pull the whole front end off to get the old oh, meter out. That's overkill. The other two are uh, more than sufficient. All right, let's see what we got here. part of the whole job. Yeah. Out of here. Alright, there's your alternator out. <laughs> Can't hold the flashlight right. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay, anyway, put our battery positive back on. Not on the battery, on the alternator. Up. It's a lot easier to get this cable on before you bolt the inner oh, here down. The other ones we can just plug in. I'll just probably get my fat fingers in there. Oh, them guys were really good though. They took their time and figured it out. Actually tried. Yeah. Okay. Now, you like all that? Right here, and then this plugs in to here. Like so. See, this is on the outside. In there. there we go. Maybe one more little connector for the regulator. That one goes this way. Fingers in there. Make sure you hear it click in. I did. Just got the two bolts on the bottom and the one on the top. First, I'm get my fat hands in there. Get more time, maybe then. That's where you need kids. <laughs> right, Zay? Mm-hmm. Four hours later, we get the two bolts in there. Have you ever seen that long when you're taking them out? We just stuck in there is on the bracket for the back. See, why do you use that short little ratchet? Because I over tighten everything and I don't want to break any bolts off. I've done that a hundred times. I don't want to do it again. Tighten the bottom one and we'll come back and tighten these up. Put the belt on and we'll call it good. Grab your, uh, let's get the belt back on. Uh, all right, you guys, shine the light down here so you can see what we're doing. I didn't even think so. All right, there's that one. Yeah. 
Here's a slot the breaker bar fits into. Now, to pull it towards you once, I can't remember if it's pulled towards you. Yep. More tension. Get a little more. More. Come on, man. There you go. All right, let go. Tensioner's on. Just make sure you get them all hooked. That's hooked. Comes there over the crank. Looks like they're all there. Uh, freaking out at me because, well, I wasn't holding a flashlight right. And see, when he couldn't get it, he to tell me to try to get it, and I couldn't get it. That's my fault. Sorry. Helps to talk to it. Be really careful, these lines are super brittle. I'm gonna break easy hard plastic. Don't forget to plug your map sensor back in. Was on the red connector in the back. Okay, turn that piece on. You can uh, hook your battery back up, find a socket for that. Jay, where's the light? Shut them here. It was there. Let me switch up. This comes. down from generation to generation. You gotta be screwed down. Now we gotta get these two lined up. That's it. Wanna get some battery on? Yeah. 